everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I've got another video for you guys. Today we are going to be fan casting Piotr Rasputin Colossus in the MCU X-Men movies. We're going to be talking about who I think should play Colossus, the Siberian Express from Russia, from the motherland. So we are going to be talking about who should play this character. So let's take a look. I wanted to show you guys who I think should play Piotr Rasputin Colossus. A couple things to note. I wanted to show you guys. I'll switch my screen right now so we can take a look. But Colossus in the X-Men has always been kind of a heart and soul figure. He's a mutant that was kind of on his own. Potentially could get his own movie. I mean, a lot of the X-Men have their backgrounds and their backstories very well fleshed out since over the years they've taken the time to tell all of their stories. They're not just one team. They're a team of individual heroes and people that have had struggles and problems and enemies of their own. And so I think Colossus is a great candidate for someone who I think should probably get his own film in the MCU before he joins the X-Men. I've got 10 actors I wanted to show you guys that I think would be good to play Colossus in the MCU. All right, first up, we have Alan Ridgeson, who is 34 years old, and he is six foot two. You'll notice that most of the guys that I'm going to choose are usually pretty large. Um, and they are somewhere between 30 and anywhere above that. I don't think that Colossus is someone that should be younger for the X-Men. I think he's always been someone that w that came in as a grown adult. In fact, he was taking care of his younger sister, Ileana. I know that you can take care of a younger sibling if you are in your early 20s, but that just to me is not the Colossus that I like to see. So you'll see some of these guys are gonna be a little younger. Some of them are much older because depending on where you want the story to go and how accurate you want it to be to the comics, um, some of these characters might be a little bit older, and uh, some of you guys who are fans of the 80s might, uh, 80s uh, action films might appreciate some of the castings I got here. But anyway, Alan Richardson, you guys know from Titans, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, from The Hunger Games, and you guys have probably seen him on like New Girl, and maybe even if you guys watch Smallville like I did, you're a huge fan, he was the very first live action adaptation of Aquaman. But I wanted to show you guys some stuff about him. Uh, for Colossus, there's usually a couple of side-by-side -side images that have been, that have been shown here. Um, this one here, with his facial hair, he kind of almost looks like a very broad Liam Hemsworth. But I think that he would be an excellent choice for Colossus. Um, not a ton of fan casting. In fact, I don't want to linger too much. But you can see that he's got that kind of thicker, more macho jaw, chiseled uh, chin, um, broad forehead. And he's got a very similar hairline even. Uh, you don't usually see it because he kind of scoops his hair or it comes out forward But he's got a very similar hairline to Colossus as well big beefy guy I think he'd do the job well, so I won't stick too long here. Let's keep moving Florian Montianu who's six foot four 28 years old not much of a resume, but you guys know him from Creed 2 where he crushed it out of the park playing the son of Ivan Drago I think he would be a really good choice no stranger to playing a Russian um, and he is built outside of his freaking mind look at this guy this guy's jack city what in the sweet heck is going on here he would be an awesome colossus and he would play a much younger colossus even though he's not a kid um he is probably one of the youngest actors on my list so i'm gonna throw his name in the hat and let me know what you guys think about him down below all right so now let's take a look at daniel cudmore 38 years old six foot seven and again i know what you guys are thinking hey wait a minute daniel didn't he play colossus in the previous x-men franchise yes he did but what we could do here is just repurpose him a lot of people saw him as kind of a more slender skinny colossus when in reality he's actually quite a big guy if you were to play him scale him next to people because he wasn't really seen next to a lot of people when he was in the films if you were to really scale him out and then add a little bit more cgi to just kind of um embellish his already gigantic size and stature it would be really awesome to see him play colossus he is very very big and I was really happy to see him in X-Men Days of Future Past. Um, I would love to see him do some more and be back again. So that to me, it would be a darn shame to see him go to waste. I would love to see him back in the MCU. Let me know if you guys think it would be good to cycle him back or if you guys would rather avoid that and avoid the possible timeline confusion um, altogether. So let's keep moving. Like I said, some of these actors are gonna be a little bit older, but Ben Affleck, 46 years old, six foot four, big guy. He got huge in Batman versus Superman. The guy worked out like nobody's business, got jacked, and I think he's got a very similar head, jaw, forehead, 
um, hairline even to what Colossus typically does have. I think you would have no problem playing him in the MCU, especially if you want to have an older Colossus. Now, I do think that he would be one of the better actors to play the role because um, he is an, he's an A-list actor, very, very talented, credits out the wazoo. I mean, the guy's just fantastic. And I think that he didn't get enough love as Batman. I think it would be really cool to see him play a character with less, not less expectations, but less comparison. And I think it would be cool to have him in the flesh, maybe motion capturing Colossus. That would be really, really fun. So let me know what you think about that option down below. Maybe Marvel can give him the grace that the DC fan base could not. Dolph Lundgren, I know what you guys are thinking, holy cow, this guy's getting crazy with his older castings. Well, again, some people want the MCU X-Men to already be established as heroes and not have to waste too much time with them coming up through high school. That way you could get some of the younger, newer mutants in the academy and have the older guys being more like teachers and mentors at the Xavier Institute. If that's the case, you could play it so that some of those younger mutants like Nightcrawler and Kitty Pride are in fact like maybe 30 and you could have some of these other characters that are much much older. I think Dolph Lundgren is very much on the older side but I do think that he would have no problem playing the role. Dolph Lundgren at 61 years old and 6 foot 5. Guy is big, beef city, you've seen him in Aquaman, The Expendables, Creed 2, Rocky 4. People for a very very long time have been trying to get him to play the role of Colossus and obviously I think he's aged out of the role. I don't think it would be ideal to have someone his age play the character. However, if he were to be cast in that role, I wouldn't see that as the end of the world. As long as you just spread the age of the X-Men out a good deal, um, you wouldn't have too much trouble and I think he would do it really well. It'd be really fun, quite nostalgic for a lot of us who are fans of like the Rocky franchise for instance. Um, that would be a sweet treat. Um, and maybe even if you just motion captured him and you just had him kind of like in Deadpool where he never powers down So that would be pretty cool. All right next up Alexander Skarsgård 42 years old and six foot four He is one of the top choices for many of the X-Men a lot of people wanted him for Angel a lot of people wanted him for Cyclops um, He is six foot four and he is really big He's actually apparently already cast to play in Godzilla vs Kong. He's from True Blood Big Little Lies and The Legend of Tarzan, which I'm going to show you right now because this guy is fit. This guy is ripped. I think anyone who plays Colossus probably should motion capture. I would be kind of upset if they tried to do it um, live unless you got someone who had the physique of Atlas. So let's, uh, I'm going to just leave that there. Let me know what you guys think about Alexander Skarsgård. A lot of you guys are big fans. Let me know. Talk to me in the comments and let's keep moving. Next, we have Teddy Sears, 42 years old and six foot three. You guys know him from The Flash, um, 24 Legacy. Uh, on the flash he plays Hunter Zolomon, which is zoom. There's not a lot of pictures of him as far as fitness I think it would be a really cool choice. I really like this guy. He's got he's got the right look A lot of people online have been talking with me about fan casting since we've been doing the summits and some people really want Teddy Sears to get a crack at playing Colossus So let me know if he's on your list and if you guys think maybe he's not your number one pick But do you think he might make your top 10 list? Let me know. Tom Hopper, 34 years old and six foot five. You guys know him from Umbrella Academy, Merlin, I Feel Pretty, and Black Sails. This guy is gigantic. He has experience playing the big beefy guy. Plus, check this guy out. He's made magazine cover after magazine cover for his insane fitness. This guy is ridiculous. He's one of the few people I think that could play Colossus without having to do a lot of CGI. Like you wouldn't have to scale this guy. Six foot five is gigantic and he is built like a absolute Siberian train. Look at this guy. Unreal. This guy is crazy. And so yeah, I think he would be a really good choice. And if you saw the Umbrella Academy, you probably got love for this guy too. So let me know what you guys think about Tom Hopper playing Colossus in the MCU down below. Next up, Junis Suatamo. If I'm saying that correctly 32 years old one of the youngest people on the list and six foot 11 you heard me right he is one inch shorter than seven feet tall one of the tallest in Hollywood at this time uh, 231 pounds and I haven't mentioned the, the weight of everybody else but this guy is giant dude and uh, he's even bigger than Peter Mayhew who played the original Chewbacca so let's take a look you guys know him from Solo and The Last Jedi where he plays Chewbacca but look at how tall he is compared to these other guys. He's got that kind of like Russian, like he's got that Colossus hairline for sure. I think he would look a great deal like the part. Obviously he's not the most ripped guy in the world, but he is no, he's no pushover either. I mean, you can, you can tell this guy is just generally in, in good shape, 
Uh, he could clearly bulk for the role if needed, but I think more likely you would just CGI and motion capture this guy to make Colossus come to life. So let me know what you guys think about Chewbacca transitioning from Star Wars into the MCU. I think it'd be a really cool thing, but I want to know your opinion on the matter. All right, next up, Stefan Kapicic. He is 40 years old and six foot four. Uh, you guys know him from Deadpool and Deadpool 2, where he voices Colossus. This is a really... Uh, really well beloved actor playing the character most people this is their favorite edition of Colossus is in the Deadpool franchise But in real life he is six foot four and he's 40 years old So I think that's really really good. Let's take a look at some of these images again It's hard to find fan casting for him because he already plays the role So this would basically be having him come back to play this so I think that would be really good plus it would not be a very difficult transition I mean they've already kind of crossed realms into the Fox uh, franchise but it was kind of a throwaway gag having the whole crew in the in the X mansion in Deadpool 2 so for, for me I think people don't take Deadpool as seriously because they know that he's third he's fourth wall breaking and that whatever story he's in it's basically to them it's just their world but to Deadpool it's just a story and that's why it's kind of it's so much fun so if you wanted to throw this Colossus into the MCU I don't think it would be like it would be breaking continuity it would basically just be like oh maybe these guys are all part of Deadpool's imagination the whole Fox franchise was just some amalgam of his crazy crazy thoughts and then we could just add him in so let me know what you guys think about Stefan Kapicic playing Colossus in the MCU and finally we have Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is my bonus pick. I know you guys are gonna be like, what in the sweet heck is going on with 71 years old? Is he old enough? Well, I'll tell you what, he's gonna be in the next Terminator movie as well. He's gonna be in Terminator Dark Fate. Um, he's not too old to continue acting. Obviously, he's no longer the, the most ripped guy on earth, but he is still in moderately good shape. I think he's really slimmed down in the last few years. Um, so let's take a look and just see. This is some fan art that has happened. And obviously, you'd probably be motion capturing and mostly CGIing this thing. Uh, kind of like how Mark Ruffalo does a lot of the face work and a lot of the body work as well for the Hulk. You could have Arnold Schwarzenegger do the exact same thing for a Colossus that is maybe still in his 30s. So I think that that would be a really fun thing. So let me know what you guys think about this nostalgia blowback. Uh, in the comments below because I want to hear from you guys on that all right guys So now let me know what you guys think about those choices down below But before we finish up I wanted to show you guys some art that I did for Colossus uh, In the MCU I had my top two favorite actors were Alan Richson and Florian Montianu I wanted to show you guys what they might look like playing Colossus. So let's take a look So on the left you guys can see that Alan Richson is there. Um, I just changed his hair color and I added a more metallic effect. It took a little bit of time, but let me know if you guys like that. Obviously, Colossus comes from a farm in Russia where he was raising his sister, Ileana, um, and then the tragedy happened where she was almost killed by the runaway tractor and he had to jump in the way and stop it, which manifested his mutant powers late. He wasn't even a teenager. He it manifested when he was already a man. And so to that effect, I think it would be really cool to maybe give him his own story and start him out there and maybe build into something else like Omega Red or something like that. That would be a lot of fun. And I would love to see those stories explored. Again, Florian Montiano out here on the right. He looks really, really jacked. Both of these guys always stay fit to the max. And I think both of them would have zero problem. The guy is real steel. I would love to see either of these gentlemen play it, but let me know which one you guys like the most down in the comments below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like if you liked it by clicking the thumbs up button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and please turn on notifications so you guys can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.
Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also, be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.